Well, major developments this morning on the ongoing issue of contamination at the uh, wells in St. Charles, yeah, the water those, wells. Those water wells. And the EPA says Ameren is to blame for the contamination and now has to pay for the cleanup. Let's go to Fox 2's Chris Frenier. He joins us live in St. Charles to explain more of this. Chris? John Parker, good morning to both of you. We are just outside of St. Charles City Hall here. Mayor Dan Borgmeyer has been saying for months that an Ameren substation was to blame for the contamination of those well fields which supply St. Charles City with its drinking water. Now the release from the EPA is validating Borgmeyer's position. We can show you video of the Elm Point well field where that contamination has been taking place. Five of the seven wells there have had to be shut down because of contamination concerns. That has led to St. Charles buying drinking water from St. Louis City. In a news release yesterday, the EPA identified Ameren's Hooster Road substation as the source of contamination at the Elm Point well field. The EPA says it sampled the Elm Point well field between January 17th and 26th to collect groundwater samples from 17 locations. Those samples brought back evidence of vinyl chloride and other chemicals at the well field. The EPA is saying that the Superfund program operates under the quote, polluter pays principle, which in this case would mean Ameren must pay for the cleanup. That is music to the ears of Mayor Borgmeyer. He wants Ameren to pay $40 million. That would be the cost of relocating those water wells. Here is some of what the mayor told us reacting to the EPA's findings. We are so thankful that the EPA came forward and finally got the conclusion that Ameren was the polluter in our well field. Our fire department went out and audited all the companies in the well field. None of them had the vinyl chloride as a contaminant except Ameren. We kept telling the EPA that and they kept, I call it a bureaucratic witch hunt, looking for somebody else to blame besides Ameren. And I think they just ran out of road and now it's just Ameren. The results of the EPA findings and the latest on this ongoing situation will be presented to the public at a meeting later this month. For now, live in St. Charles, Chris Renier, Fox News.